Hi folks, and welcome back to another episode of RDR. It's been a hot second, so thank you so much for joining me today. I have stumbled upon something interesting, to say the least, at the thrift store on my last run to the Ark. And what I picked up was, well, this. Yahoo Internet Life Y101, 50 incredibly useful sites. Plus you'll see here it has links, games, utilities, and more. What does that mean? What were the 50 most useful sites at this time when this was created, which was 1999 according to the copyright on this disc? So let's just pop it in and explore what Yahoo Internet life was in 1999. So I've got the Compact Presario 1692 in front of me here. It's the first time I've actually booted this up in at least a month or so, maybe a little longer. So it's really fun to have this out here and uh, you know it's working. <laughs> it's always good to know that it boots up, you know, after you have it sit, so. All right, here we go. Well, sure, we'll agree. Listen to that music. Let me turn it up here. I think I might be as, as high in the volume as I can go here. All right, so this is from July 1999. You'll see at the top there we have America Online's all new 4.0, man. 4.0 Yahoo Internet Life YIL.com click here I'm sure you need an internet connection for that hopefully we don't need an internet connection for this whole disk but we'll see we also have five hot games and utilities tools for ripping CDs listening to mp3 files organizing your web files it's all here oh wow this is when you know burning CDs is just on the cusp of uh, becoming mainstream, I had very few friends with this CD burner in 1999, but oh, how I envied them when they'd bring their big CD booklet of all burnt discs to school, and I just thought, this is, it ain't going to get better than this. Can't wait till I have this, so let's just see what we have here. All right. Well, we got 10 supremely useful sites at the bottom there. We got 10 most net useful sites here. So that's those. Personal finance, home, reference, pers personal, entertainment, travel, medical, auto, mail sites, and shopping. Let's, personal finance sounds boring. I wanna go straight to entertainment. <laughs> so we got the gist here movie link Ticketmaster. there's a relevant one still today somewhat StubHub the app StubHub's really kind of taken over in my opinion what t Ticketmaster Ticketmaster did at this time so it is still around though Polestar something about bands Movie review query engine. Oh my gosh, MRGE. So, what is that today? Rotten Tomatoes, or maybe IMDb. Oh no, there's IMDb here. So it was around then. That's still, of course, very commonplace for movie information. So we got Lycos for search here. This is very just about you know the end of pre Google dominance so light goes here for uh for music files at least it looks like it's an mp3 site that's hilarious 
Is that everything for entertainment? I think it is. Yes, okay. Up next. Oh, let's try personal. Uh, let's see if anything new. Calendarjump.com. This is so primitive. Literally a disc made just to show you websites. I mean, date, date planner, AOL, personallogic.com. Okay, these are boring, in my opinion. That's that. Okay, well, we have to stay there long. Let's go to home. Renovate your house. We got better homes and gardens live.com. Virtual relocation. Help relocating. AOL Pets Decision Guide here. <laughs> Old Farmer's Almanac. That's that. Uh, let's try automotive. Get new car prices. Research old car prices. So Kelly Blue Book, Edmunds. Kelly Blue Book's very useful still. Avoid speed traps. The speed trap registry. Man, I wish I knew about that in 1999. I mean, I still wasn't driving yet. There was still a few years off for me, but would have saved me some money a couple years down the road, I bet. I, I came from a town where speed traps were everywhere. So, I mean, I, I think that's safe to say for many towns, but Fargo, North Dakota in the early 2000s. Oh, man, there were some spots, let me tell you. Okay. Let's check the mail sites out. So FedEx.com, you can track your packages. And then this was, you know, just kind of becoming popular to do online. Zip code lookup, I guess. Moversnet, forward your mail. So the USPS site. It's amazing to think that you could do that in 99 where I was, when I would move, I would have to do all like the go. I, still, I was still going to the freaking post office to do it when I could have been doing it online for probably a couple bucks. I was too scared, though, in 99 to spend a dime on the internet, so. This was before internet shopping was normal. So, younger generations watching this, internet shopping was a scary thing when it first came out because you were paying for something online and hoping it would come to you. And we were used to a lifestyle of going to get things, seeing the item, having it in hand, Purchasing, purchasing it with your credit card, and it felt safe. The internet wasn't a safe place to shop yet, at least in our minds. Uh, so, you know, spending money on the internet now, you do it so easily, but you know, this is before it became just, it, before it was a norm. So, it's interesting to see that you could, you know, have your mail forwarded or, you know, when you were moving and all that stuff. Although it doesn't seem like anything, anything of a big deal now. Okay, shopping in 99. Oh, we got to check shopping out. Find the best book price, Book Boulevard. I bet they died when Amazon got big. Never heard of it. Find it, compare.net, never heard of that. Gadget Guru? That sounds familiar. If you want to stay up on the latest crop of gear, such as DVD players, remember this is right when DVD players was getting popular, and DVD players cost a fortune back then our first dvd player was an rca i have no idea what model but it was a big deal when we bought that and spent like oh, at least 300 bucks i think and brought it home and watched i cannot remember what movie we rented god i wish i did i think it was either like gone in 60 seconds or i have no idea i have no idea what we watched on that thing but i remember thinking i have never seen a movie look better in our house <laughs> it was awesome i mean the, the the jump from vhs to dvd is massive it is a massive jump in quality it, it, it's just amazing so granted laser discs existed but i mean nobody i knew had them nobody was dropping the kind of money to buy those or get into that market that was a rich man's market in the 80s and 90s 70s 80s and 90s i should say so, not a market we were into well, there's not many here, so let's just check everything out quick. Medical, legal. Look 
look up medical info, Mayo Health. I mean, find a doctor, look up health info, Intel Health, lawyers.com to find a lawyer. These sites are so, like, basic named. <laughs> Travel information, cdc.gov. Stay healthy overseas. Okay. We checked out automobile. Well, let's check out reference, so we'll check out personal finance. I don't think we missed any. Infoplease.com, I remember that. Mr. Smith? Never heard of that. Babblefish? Alta Vista? Never heard of that. Fed stats. One, look up a word. One look. Learn anything. Learn to.com. Funny. I mean, I've, these are not big websites I used back then, nor did I know about them. Okay, let's see who was dominating finance real quick. We got Thompson's Real Time Quotes Finance Center, ATM Locator, Visa.com, forward slash ATMs, and then Bank Rate, Research Bank Rates. Anything else? Calculate Exchange Rates, that's cool. Find Cheaper Insurance, Insweb. I I'm, that's, I'm kind of surprised I don't know these. I mean, these top 50 incredibly useful sites are not like mainstream. So I think maybe they were trying to go for a niche of like sites you didn't know about. Granted, some are pretty obvious, maybe not for 99, but interesting. So let's go to the supremely useful sites, the 10 supremely useful. Weather Channel, though, there's one. CNN, scoreboards, Sports Illustrated scoreboards. That's a common one. Live radio, broadcast.com. Jeez, I didn't know about that. That would have been cool to have checked out in 99. I mean, this would require an internet connection better than what I had in 99, I'm sure. Personalized news, Excite News Tracker. Let's see. Find a person, white pages, there's, that's common. Delore and get directions. That's crazy. I mean, this is before MapQuest. Spring Street, find an apartment, find a house, Realtor.com. I mean, there's one that's super obvious, Realtor.com. Realtor, I should say. Okay, now let's do the net useful sites here quick. Can't leave those out. <laughs> so, of course, Yahoo's like right there at number one. Search the web. There's Metacrawler. I remember Metacrawler. I didn't really use it. Find email addresses, whowhere.lycos.com. Interesting. Search the Usenet archives, Deja News. Didn't use that. S set your watch. Master clock time. That's cool. And there's Yahoo Net Events. Let's see something about real player down here that caught my eye. So they're really boasting Yahoo here, because this is Yahoo Internet Life. ZDNet Software Library. The list.internet.com, find an internet search provider. Interesting. Check out virus hoaxes, computer virus myths, qmite.com forward slash myths. That's another email list one here. Interesting. Well, what else is on here? Let's go back home. I want to check out those software that they're giving here. I don't know if I'm going to put any of this software on here, but I just got to see what it is. Ask Sam Surf Saver. With Ask Sam Surf Saver, you can transport web pages directly from Internet Explorer 4.0 or Netscape into a searchable folder. Oh, wow. Don't need that. Find hundreds of free music servers on the net. MP3 Spy. I think I was using uh, Napster. Coffee Cup HTML Editor. Copernic 99 3.0, intelligent software that can search the web, news groups, and email simultaneously. Well, thank God we got Google for all this now. Winamp, oh, that's awesome that Winamp's on here. WinDAC, digital audio copies, an audio utility that allows you to copy audio tracks from CDs to WAV format. <laughs> to WAV format, not MP3. Yeesh. Katie Soft Scroll, 
web interface for quadruples your web surfing power. There's a download manager. That's great. Is there anything else? Oh, it goes into the installs here for Winamp and Ask Sam. Okay. And you got your other ones here. Oh, you got your, your updates, dates. I mean, everything's 99-ish. Shareware. This is Game Spy for the MP3 Spy. That's interesting. Tells who the author is, the system requirements. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Okay. Let's go home. Last but not least, let's check out the five hot games. Let's see if they're as hot. Oh, oh my gosh. Demos. Okay. I had to make sure. I had assumed. So there's NASCAR Racing 99 Edition. What? Hold on. NASCAR Racing 1999 Edition? Uh, I did not know that existed. That's amazing. Microsoft Golf 1999 Edition? What? That's amazing. And there's Test Drive 5. Big Race USA, and of course, X-Wing Alliance. These are not bad demos. Two, one, I mean, I did not know there was 90, 1999 editions of Microsoft Golf or NASCAR Racing, so my mind's just a tiny bit blown right now. I'm a huge fan of both products, and especially NASCAR Racing. NASCAR Racing is the first computer game I ever got to purchase. So that's a big deal that there's a 1999 version out there. I'm going to have to track that sucker down. And I may have to install that demo, if, if anything. So let's just check out a couple of other things on here. We got Yahoo Internet Life. Okay, it's like just the menu. Tech support for this CDs, utilities, featured utilities. There's credits. America Online 4.0. And this is if you want to go to yil.com. I bet this will bring up my... Yeah, choose an internet browser. I don't want to do that. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. Head back to the home page here. I don't think we did. Well, it's what I expected. It did try to go into websites that weren't as common. I mean, at least I'm trying to think of the knowledge I had of websites in 99. And I was on the internet a lot then, whenever I could be, whenever I get the opportunity to say, dial up at my house and my parents would let me. So that's pretty cool to see that there is, you know, they took a little effort in that list, I, I feel. I mean, a lot of it was promo for Yahoo, expected. But I'm guessing there's more than one of these discs out there. So I'm going to have to keep my eye out for Yahoo Internet Life discs. This one being, of course, July 99 makes me think there's more than one, unless this tanked and they didn't do more. I'll have to look it up. But I'll definitely review more of these if I get my hands on them. But I might have to, at the very least, install that Microsoft Golf 99 Edition and NASCAR Racing 99 Edition. That is just incredible that those exist. So... That's just pretty awesome. So that is Yahoo Internet Life from July 1999. Pretty much, again, what I would have expected, but also one of those things I would have been thrilled to have gotten my hands on as a kid. It's just one of those things where whenever you get the chance to download software like that off a disk and uh, get that stuff just handed to you, on a disc like that, it was like a, a true treat in 1999. So as a kid, for me, that would have been just incredible to have. I remember finding like stuff like this in magazines or, you know, you name it. And it was always fun to be able to open up and see, you know, kind of like what was packaged on that disc. 
Uh, these were very common, these kinds of things back in the late 90s. So it was fun to stumble upon this and get the chance to check it out with you. So let me know what you think. If you had these discs uh, growing up in the 90s, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear any of your thoughts on what Yahoo Internet Life was to you. I had absolutely no experience with it. This is my first time ever hearing about it existing. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's interesting to see how companies tried to, you know, dish out stuff like this to promote themselves and uh, hand the consumer something. So yeah, let me know again, you know, your thoughts on uh, this video, uh, Yahoo Life or anything at all, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day.